Hello sports fans, this is Steven here for JustMyPicks.com and I'm bringing you a special NFL debate video. But before I get into it, I want to make sure you're subscribed to my YouTube channel. Make sure you click that subscribe button so you can get all the breaking videos we have as soon as they're made and as soon as they come out each and every week. But to get right into it, I'm going to be covering... Are the Philadelphia Eagles dumb for possibly trading or releasing Deshaun Jackson? When it comes down to it, I'm a, I'm a diehard Philadelphia Eagles fan. I have been since birth. When I see things like this and I see some of our most talented players threatening to be released or traded, um, I want to send a sense of warning to Chip Kelly. You know, this is not Oregon. You know, you're not the head man in charge. You are literally, but in the NFL, it's a little bit different. When you have players who are making more money than you, when you have players who um have more uh, uh, respect in the locker room, when you have players who have been there longer than you and really have a voice in the locker room, it becomes a little difficult to really be the head honcho. Unless you're a guy like Bill Belichick, unless you're a guy like Bill Parcells, unless you're a guy like Mike Tomlin. Uh, when it comes down to it, the locker room is a sacred place. Players run the locker room. Even though you can have a head coach, the inmates run the asylum in the NFL because the in the, well, not inmates, that's a bad description but the NFL players run the locker room and they run the team you look at it because they control what goes on on the field coaches can coach all they want but if the players are not willing to cooperate and do those things then it could be a bad thing but looking into the situation Deshaun Jackson is a very talented wide receiver. At times, is he a knucklehead? Yes. At times, is he hard to deal with? I'm sure. Diva mentality, cool, cool, cool. But when it comes down to it, Chip Kelly will need him. You paid Jeremy Macklin, who was hurt, coming off, was a good receiver before he got hurt. You paid Riley Cooper with all of his drama, seeing the N-word, and him really having a solid season. But you don't want to pay Deshaun Jackson, even though he's already under contract. You have to really think about this before you just go release him because you personally don't like him or because he's tough to deal with the coaching staff. You have to think about this. Will this team be able to sustain without him because he's averaging more than 17 yards a catch? That should let you know something. I don't I know that uh, Chip Kelly has been reported that Deshaun Jackson won't even return his phone calls. Hell, I wouldn't either if I knew I was getting traded or released. At this point, it looks like a lot of the damage has been done already. Chip Kelly has leaked it out that he wants to trade or release Deshaun Jackson. And a lot of NFL teams are not calling Chip Kelly back for trades. It's looking more and more by the day like he will be released and he may become a New York Jet. But when I look at it, you cannot lose speed with this Chip Kelly's team. Um, the NFL draft does have... A few good wide receivers in it, but none explosive as Deshaun Jackson. You have to look at what he brings. He blows the tops off of defenses. Because he is so short and so fast, he is one of the fastest receivers in the NFL. If you get rid of him, then you may be in for some trouble. Uh, LaShawn McCoy will not be able to carry the ball 40 times a game and catch the ball 20 times a game. So you need to keep as many playmakers and explosive players on the team while you have them. Now, what I will suggest Chip Kelly, this is not, as I said earlier, this is not Oregon, this is not Texas, this is not Miami, this is not University of Georgia. You have power, but only to a certain point. Players are going to only listen to players, really. When you have a brand new head coach, you may have a couple of players that, that buy into it. But for the most part, players that have been there longer, that have built up revenue in that organization, that players under them, like younger wide receivers, young cornerbacks, young linebackers, young defensive linemen and offensive linemen, they look up to Deshaun Jackson. So if you're willing to get rid of Deshaun Jackson and basically say, you know what, we can do this without him, you're going to have to deal with that locker room. You know, and that that's what it comes down to. That's what it boils down to. So I want to know what you guys feel. I think it's a dumb decision to get rid of Deshaun Jackson just to cut off the nose, spike the face. But let me know what you guys feel. Do you feel like this is a premature move by Chip Kelly? Do you feel like he just needs to hold on, keep Deshaun Jackson, and play, or at least get a trade that's worth trading for Deshaun Jackson? Let me know what you guys feel in the comment section below. Don't forget to check me out each and every week at JustMyPicks.com. You can also follow me on Twitter at JustMyPicksTV. You can also check me out on YouTube and all of my hundreds of videos youtube backslash just my picks tv make sure you subscribe and as of always thank you the fan very much for checking us out each and every week thank you very much for your time also remember to check us out um and share us with your facebook groups sports groups so we can debate with you each and every week for the breaking news thank you very much